the non-sporting group is the last group of dogs that we're going to talk about. And this is that group where if a dog doesn't really fit anywhere else, they're kind of just put in with this group. It's kind of the miscellaneous group. Um, they are miscellaneous breeds that are really mainly used as companion animals. First example we're going to talk about is the Boston Terrier. Um, they are an American breed, as denoted by the name, and they originated from crossing the English Bulldog and the White English Terrier, and then they were further developed actually through inbreeding, which is probably not recommended, but that's how we got them. Um, they're a very clean cut looking dog that has the body conformation of a terrier. They make excellent house dogs or companion dogs. They're very even tempered, very smart, and they actually do get along well with children. Not all small dogs do. The Dalmatian. Um, you have probably seen more than one fire truck with a Dalmatian in it or on it. Um, but they are a very calm, very quiet dog that's noted for being very smart and also their adaptability. Um, they have been used as trail hounds. They have also been used for hunting birds, boar, and bear. They have been used as a retriever, but most notably, they have been a coach or carriage dog. Um, typically, the, with the fire department, um, they also, Budweiser always has a Dalmatian riding with their Clydesdale team. So they always have a Dalmatian with a Clydesdale team. Um, so if you ever see the Budweiser Clydesdales out there, look for the Dalmatian. It will be on the cart. Um, these dogs will follow their master if at all possible, and they really thrive on human companionship. I mean, they are kind of the definition of man's best friend. Um, they're natural guardians, and they do love children. Um, typically, they're white with black spots. Um, some of them will actually be white with liver brown spots, so that really dark, dark brown. The Poodle. Um, these are incredibly intelligent dogs. Um, they're very good-natured dogs, typically speaking. Not all of them are, but for the most part, they're pretty pretty good-natured. Um, they are known as the National Dog of France, and it was originally used as a retriever there. Um, they were used as a duck or a water dog, very similar to the Labrador Retriever, and also they're used as circus trick dogs. Um, but Poodles really today are used as companion dogs and show dogs. And there's three different classes based on weight, so by gender and by height. Um, the standard poodle, which is kind of your, your big one. Miniature, which is kind of like terrier sized, and then toy, which is like toy sized, so very small. The bulldog, I mean, look at that face. How can you not love it? These are, these are the types of dogs where people will say they're so ugly, they're cute. The Lhasa Apso, um, I think these guys look um, kind of like a Pekingese, but they're a little bit different. The Chow Chow. Um, these dogs are really interesting dogs. They are not known for being friendly. Um, some of them are. Some of them are very good dogs, and they're very friendly, and they're very open to people. But for the most part, Chow Chows are not known as being very nice. Please let me know if you have any questions or concerns. I know we talked about a lot of different breeds. Um, let me know if you need any help with anything, of course, as always. Thanks for watching.